This is the second part to the experiment Colorimetric Determination of an Equilibrium Constant. In this lecture, we will discuss the calculations for the experiment Colorimetric Determination of an Equilibrium Constant. First, if you have not done so, pause this video and record the data for the experiment in your notebook. Here's the data for part A. Likewise, here is the data for part B. We will begin with part A, the calibration. The table listed here indicates the volume of the stock solutions that were used to prepare the standard solutions for the calibration. Recall that the concentration of the ferric nitrate solution was 0 0.200 molar, and the concentration of the sodium thiocyanate solution was 2.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. The total volume for each solution was 50 milliliters. The volume of ferric nitrate for each solution was 10 milliliters. The volume of the sodium thiocyanate that was used changed from a value of 0 milliliters in the first standard up to a value of 5 milliliters in the sixth standard. We will now calculate the concentrations of each species in the standards. Recall that this is a simple dilution problem where the concentration in the standard is equal to the concentration of the stock times a simple dilution factor. We will look at standard number four. The iron three plus concentration in standard number four begins with the 0 0.200 molar stock concentration. We then multiply by the dilution factor of 10 milliliters over the total volume of 50 milliliters. This results in a concentration of 0 0.0400 molar ferric ion. For the thiocyanate ion, we begin with our 2.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar stock, and we multiply by our dilution factor, which in this case is 3 milliliters over the total of 50 milliliters. This gives us a value of 1.20 times 10 to the negative 4 molar thiocyanate ion. Recall from the previous lecture that we designed the experiment in such a way, by having an excess of ferric ion, we force all of the thiocyanate into the complex. This means that for standard four, the concentration of the ferric thiocyanate complex is equal to the initial thiocyanate concentration which is 1.20 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. In your report, you will show these three steps for standard 3. Once you have calculated the concentration of the ferric thiocyanate complex for each of the six standards, the next step is to plot the data. The concentrations of the complex will be your x-axis values. The y-axis values will be the absorbance readings for each of the solutions. Once you have plotted all of the data points, use a ruler to draw the best fit line for the data. Make sure that this line passes through the origin of the plot. As in the kinetics experiment, you will select a point on the line that crosses the intersection of two grid lines on the plot. You will then read back to the y-axis and down to the x-axis, and use this set of x and y values to calculate the slope of the line. The slope will be equal to your selected y value divided by your selected x value. Note that we are assuming that you are using the origin as your second set of y and x values, so please make sure that your line passes through the origin. Your slope should be approximately 3,900. We can now move to part B, or the determination of the KC value. Recall that we built six additional solutions of differing concentrations and read these absorbances in order to determine the value of KC. The table indicates the volumes of the solutions that were used. In this case, the stock solutions for both the ferric nitrate and the sodium thiocyanate are both 2.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. The total volume of each solution is 10 milliliters. The volume of the ferric nitrate solution ranges from 4 milliliters in solution 1 
to 5 milliliters in the remaining solutions. The sodium thiocyanate volumes range from 1 milliliter in solutions 1 and 2 up to 5 milliliters in solution 6. At this point, we can calculate the initial concentrations of each species in solution from the table. This is the same type of dilution calculation as before, and again, we will look at solution 4. The concentration of the ferric ion in solution 4 begins with the stock ferric nitrate solution concentration, 2.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. We then multiply by our dilution factor of 5 milliliters to 10 milliliters. This gives a value of 1.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar ferric ion in solution 4. For the thiocyanate, we again begin with the stock concentration of 2.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar and multiply by the dilution factor, which this time is 3 milliliters to 10 milliliters. This results in a value of 6.00 times 10 to the negative 4 molar thiocyanate ion. In your report, you will show these two steps, but for solution 3. In order to calculate the value of the equilibrium constant, we have to know the initial concentration of all of the species present and the equilibrium concentration of at least one species. We've already calculated the initial concentrations of the iron 3 plus and thiocyanate ions in solution 4. Since we're assuming that we haven't formed any of the complex at the initial time, we consider the initial concentration of the complex to be zero. In order to calculate the equilibrium concentration of the ferric thiocyanate complex, we will use the absorbance of the solution and the calibration slope. The value of the slope that I determined was 3,915 per molar. From the data, you can see that the absorbance for solution 4 is 0.278. To calculate the equilibrium concentration of the ferric thiocyanate complex, we take the absorbance and divide it by the slope. This gives 0.278 divided by 3,915 per molar. The resulting concentration is 7.10 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. At this point, we have to build an ice table in order to complete our calculation. Notice that the top row of our ice table is just a restatement of the chemical formula. Below that, we have a row for initial concentrations, a row for change in concentration, and a row for equilibrium concentrations. The first step is to fill in all the information we know, which happens to be the initial concentrations for all three of the species and the equilibrium concentration for the ferric thiocyanate complex. Thus, we start with 1.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar ferric ion, 6.00 times 10 to the negative 4 thiocyanate ion, and 0 molar of the complex. At equilibrium, we have 7.10 times 10 to the negative 5 molar complex. We can now determine the changes in each of the concentrations. We begin by looking at the ferric thiocyanate complex. We know that it begins at 0 molar concentration, and at equilibrium it has a concentration of 7.10 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. This means that the change in concentration for the complex is an increase of 7.10 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. We look at the stoichiometry of the reaction and we see that everything is now 1 to 1. For every mole of the complex we form, we have to consume 1 mole of the iron 3 plus ion. Likewise, for every mole of the complex we form, we have to consume 1 mole of the thiocyanate ion. This means that our changes have the same size as the changes in the complex, but we have to have a negative sign in order to indicate that they are decreasing. To calculate the equilibrium concentration row, we take each column, read down, and perform the arithmetic that it indicates. For the iron 3 plus ion, we begin with 1.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. 
and we decrease by 7.10 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. This gives an equilibrium concentration of 9.29 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. For the thiocyanate ion, we begin with 6.00 times 10 to the negative 4 molar, and again decrease by 7.10 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. The resulting concentration at equilibrium is 5.29 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. Lastly, we can calculate the value of Kc for solution 4. Recall that Kc has the concentration of the ferric thiocyanate complex in the numerator and the iron 3 plus concentration times the thiocyanate concentration in the denominator. When we substitute in our values from the equilibrium row, we get 7.10 times 10 to the negative 5 in the numerator and 9.29 times 10 to the negative 4 times 5.29 times 10 to the negative 4 in the denominator. When we calculate this, the value we get for Kc is 144. In your report, you will show these same calculations, but using solution 3. The last calculation you will make is to average the determined values of Kc for all six solutions. You will notice that they should be the same and they will vary slightly, but the average value should be a good representation of the overall equilibrium constant. Report guidelines, graph paper, and a fillable PDF data sheet will be published on Canvas. Once you have filled in the PDF data sheet and answered the questions, save the PDF, naming it data, followed by your last name and first initial, separated by hyphens. For example, data hyphen killian hyphen b dot pdf. When you are done making your plot and all of your calculations, either scan or take a photo of these. Name these files in the same way as the data sheet, but use calcs and plot instead of data. For example, calcs hyphen killian hyphen b dot pdf, or in the case of a JPEG, plot hyphen killian hyphen b dot JPEG. If you require more than one page for your calculations, you can include a number after your first initial. Submit these files using the submission portal under Assignments, Experiment 4 on Canvas. The report parts are all due in one week.